hi and welcome back to the second video of hydrological modeling in ArcGIS. now what you're seeing here is the raster for the stream order which you obtained in our previous video let's use the stream to feature a tool to convert our stream raster into a polyline feature now let's input our stream raster and remember we're doing this so that you can be able to do more manipulation in the vector format because you can do more manipulation when it's in vector compared to raster let's specify our output polyline feature where we want to store our output feature and you indicate the name that you want it to be now you just click on ok and wait for it to load so we have our stream shape file there and i want us to see how the attribute table looks like so we right click and we click on open attribute table now you can see the various fields that we have here and under the grid code those numbers there represent the stream orders but i want us to dissolve this so that you can only have polyline based on the stream orders that is why we are converting it to vector so you click on dissolve under data management input the feature that you want to dissolve that is the stream and then select the grid code for the dissolve field now you specify the output feature class where you want it, where you want to store your output shape file from there you just click on ok and just wait for it to process so we now have our output shape file and when you open the attribute table you can see when we have four features that is those four polylines are based on the stream orders now at least you can be able to manipulate the colors for each polyline based on the stream order and you right click go to properties and then that's where we are going to manipulate their appearance sorry it's loading so much anyway let's just wait for it there we go let's go to symbology click on categories and then you select grid code now you can see we have four features here and we're going to change their colors and i'm going to just use the blue color because we're dealing with water but the thickness is going to be different now you can see that level 4 here is very thick and i'm going to use still blue but for the other levels i'm going to be reducing the level of the width so when you visualize it you can be able to tell that this stream here has higher stream order compared to the other one and remember stream order represents the level of branching So you just do that click on apply and then you click on ok now you can see that you can be able to tell which one has higher stream order compared to the other one go to the catalog go to the area went to where you want to create a new shape file and then you right click click on you and then you go to shape file this shape file we want to create is for the four points that is the outlet areas for the catchment areas and we want it to be in the point feature type and we are going to specify the coordinate system for this and this area where i am mapping it has a coordinate system for the wg 84 and i'm going to specify the exact zone area is 36 out so you just click on ok and remember i'm creating this shape file so that i can be able to create points feature points for my powerpoint so you go to editor start editing select the powerpoints and then you click on ok
So now we have our four points, just click on continue. And then, because you want to create features, you come there to the create features. Go to construction tools, click on point, and then start creating your features. You zoom into the map, go to where you want to create your PowerPoint, and then you create a point. And so remember, a PowerPoint, as I said, is an outlet point for features. So you can be able to tell from the structure of the tributaries. You can tell where the is an outlet point for a particular catchment area so you can create as many points you want I'm just going to create a few because this is just for a demonstration process so you just zoom in create your point and then you move to the next point So now I'm done, I just go and save my edits and then I stop editing. Now I have a shape file of PowerPoint. Now we go to snap PowerPoints and you input your PowerPoints, the shape file that we just created here. And for the PowerPoint ID, the field ID, sorry. You can see here for the ID field, we just have zeros. So we're just going to use the field ID column. Because you can't use the one that has zeros. You can decide to generate them manually, but we're just going to use the field ID field. And then put your accumulation raster, then specify the output raster. Uh, navigate to the area where you want to store it and then you give it a name so I'm going to name it snap so what this is going to do is going to do what exactly it's called it's going to snap the locations of our PowerPoint so I'm going to show you what it's going to do so now that we, we've done that we've snapped our PowerPoint so when you zoom into our PowerPoint you can see this this box here so what what it has done is it has snapped it so you can just see that from the from this box points here now let's create a watershed just click on watershed watershed sorry input your flow direction and you input your feature or point data and we're going to input our the power points that we've created and you're going to use the ones that we've snapped specify the output raster and then you just click on save so watershed is the final thing that you do when you're doing hydrological modeling this is our final output a watershed So there you go. These are the watersheds that have been generated based on our PowerPoints, based on the PowerPoints that we indicated. So you, you, if you have so many streams, you can create as many water, as many PowerPoints. That means you're going to have many watersheds in your map. So this is our watersheds that we generated and you can see they are in different colors. So you can manipulate how you want them to appear. And that's our DM there with a stream network. And that's basically the end of our video, the end of this hydrological modeling video. Thank you so much for watching.